When a hypotensive patient breathes in, the chest wall expands and the diaphragm moves down, creating a slight negative pressure or vacuum that draws air into the lungs. This vacuum is typically around negative 1.5 centimeters of water. During expiration, a positive pressure is created, forcing air out of the lungs. This negative pressure, or small vacuum, draws some blood back to the heart and is referred to as preload, which is circulated forward on the next contraction. This vacuum also lowers intracranial pressure, which enhances perfusion to the brain. However, this small vacuum alone oftentimes does not create enough preload to maintain a normal blood pressure. During inspiration through the rescue guard, the patient breathes in through a slight amount of therapeutic resistance that decreases the intrathoracic pressure, enhancing the vacuum from negative 1.5 to approximately negative 7 centimeters of water. This enhanced vacuum generates greater preload and decreases intracranial pressure even more. As seen on the waveform, this increase in preload raises the patient's blood pressure, resulting in improved blood flow to vital organs. The rescue guard harnesses the relationship between circulation and ventilation to non-invasively help the body help itself. This video and additional training resources are available at combatmedicalsystems.com.